Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be cleaning up these headlights on the Mazda here. We're gonna need five things to do that. Our first being some paint protective tape, some simple green to clean off all the bugs and dirt. Pitcher with a sponge. Our spray bottle with just some water in it. And of course, your headlight restoration kit that I picked up for about $10 at AutoZone. So in our first step, we need to prep the headlights before we can start doing anything to them, which means cleaning them off. So we got our simple green here, our all-purpose cleaner, and our pitcher with the sponge and some water in it. What we're gonna be doing is just getting off all the bugs and the dirt. Our next step in prepping the lights is to surround the outside with our paint protective tape, which means we're going to be putting it in that little groove all the way around and up the side of the headlight so that when we're sanding the little outside layer down, we're not getting it scratched onto the paint and chipping it all off. Now that we got the headlights clean and taped around, we can finally start getting into the real process. What we're really doing here is sanding down the top cloudy and yellow layer of the plastic. And to do that, inside your kit, you'll find six of these 500 grit slips and four of these 800 grit slips. When we start with the 500, you'll know when to switch out to the next slip when the surface of the slip isn't rough anymore and you quit making progress on the light and it's not sanding down any further. Before we can start, you need to find your dad's power drill he's got in the garage and attach your grid adapter to it. Tighten it up and put your 500 on. As you start sanding down, you're gonna to wanna to move back and forth across the headlight. Try not to stay in the same spot for too long because it'll heat the plastic up and it might possibly deform it and it'll wear your grid out even faster. For the last step in your sanding process, you need the only piece in your kit that's gray and says 3000 on the back of it. In order to use this piece, you'll need to spray it with your bottle sprayer of water and continue to dampen the surface of the headlight as you use it. During this step, I'll typically look for between four and six passes over the whole thing. You'll notice it'll start to lighten up and you'll finally be able to see through all the cloudiness that looks like I made it worse but it'll come off. Now we're at the last step from our kit, which means the only things you should have left are your compounding pad and your compounding polish. I recommend rubbing a dime size of polish into the pad as I need it to reduce the amount of splatter that gets on my car. Finally, we're at the best part of the video. Let's take off the tape, clean up the outside, and see what the final product looks like. 